A lot of women would be fine with being friends with benefits if you guys were actually our friends. I find myself in some situations, one in particular that recently, we went on a couple dates. We slept together then he says him he doesn't want a gf. Whatever, he realized I wasn't the one for him we both understood. We still talked to each other and hung out a few but it was like once a month. I ask him to do some things during the day and he declines. I get not wanting to see the little mermaid lol whatever. Sometimes I do find myself slightly resentful because while I do enjoy the benefits for the most part, we are not what I would consider friends. And we only chill at night, at someone's place. It does bother me a bit because there's benefit but not really friends. If guys we're actually friends with women, it would be much more likely that women would sleep with you, instead of just doing the absolutely bare minimum and expecting it. Why not actually be friends with your FWB? Honestly that's what a lot of us want, but also women tend to just write us off. Hey what's up, no response for weeks, ya yeah, know. That's why I don't consider that FWB. You are each other's. I never understood the whole FWB dynamic. I can't sleep with a person and just see them as a friend greater than tilde less than kudos to all who are able to do that though. Exactly. It's not just guys being flaky in such situations. I have never heard of a friend with benefits situation that actually benefited the woman. The guys who most girls want friends with benefits with are the ones who every girl wants friends with benefits with and vice versa, therefore they know they don't actually have to be your friend to get the benefits. Carrot 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 exactly. I will never but I do get her point as well. The problem to me, is what you described, is being friends. I don't go to see movies in the middle of the day with myself or anyone but if I was going to it would be with AS, oh. I talk to my friends once every week or two and it's usually us meeting like you described, sometimes at each other's houses. I thought there was the benefit. That's exactly a difference between friends with benefits and buddies. And Op just literally described it. There's some rhetoric floating around out there that says hetero men and women cannot be friends. One in the pair always wants something sexually and will just go along with what the other wants to do. Outings, hang out, in the hopes of getting what they want. <laughs> Guys and gals also seem to view friendship and what it entails differently. It's hard to expect a guy to be your friend on your terms when that's not in line with their typical behavior. It sounds like he is getting what he wanted, so agreeing to the extra of hangouts and day dates is not going to get him more benefit. Why are you attracted to evil, manipulative, horrible leeches? Some girls become FWB with guys, so they can get into a relationship with that guy. I knew a girl like that. For me it's just a fun activity. Great to share it with someone who is emotionally important to you in some way, but it's also fun to play a game of tennis or chess with someone you are just getting to know. I feel so validated seeing this. I can't do it. As a man whose social circle has almost always been majority female, and whose closest platonic friends have almost always been women, I find this complete nonsense. Emotional attachment certainly can have a component, but it doesn't have to. In fact, for me my female friend circle and my dating pool overlapped a grand total of once, and that ended pretty quickly when we realized we were better as friends, and she's still one of my closest friends to this day. Even if a man is sexually attracted to a female friend, it's not that hard to get over it. As a teen, I developed crushes on many of my friends as I was first getting to know them. Generally that goes away in a couple months. If it doesn't, you realize that a romantic relationship won't go anywhere, isn't what either of you actually want, and move on, while keeping the friendship intact. I do agree that men and women can have different expectations about what comprises a friendship, but that's solvable with a few straightforward conversations if you find it necessary, I rarely did. I find that guys who treat women as a game where good dates result in a because they played well, generally are not the sort that are fun to hang around, and even less so for women. They certainly exist, but I don't think they are the majority of men by any means, just a particularly loud and annoying minority who have not matured. Enough to see women as full human beings with wants and desires of their own. Because, friends with benefits is the wrong terminology. 
Someone, somewhere, said they could get more benefits if the action was presented in a more pleasant way. It's still just a buddies, piece of a NSA. If you remember what the terminology actually is, you might not be hurt by it as much when it doesn't resemble anything like a friendship. Some are friends contingent on benefits, which to me is not friends with benefits, it is just buddies. When I had a few FWB, we were actually friends, but the big issue is this is how feelings get caught. In my experience, if he is great, and I am doing actual friendship stuff, the woman tends to catch feelings and try to sneak in relationship-like activity to see if I will bite. Some guys keep a clear separation to prevent feelings from messing up something that is I will not do FWB with a woman who is clearly desiring a relationship. Heavily, she will be the type to seek it in some semblance of one, especially in a FWB situation where there is more than just involved. To me it is a FWB, to her it is a situationship. With the women there were my FWB, that did not end up catching feelings, I am still friends with. Whether there are benefits or not. The friendship exists outside of the benefits, and that to me is a true FWB. Also some of us men do not see women past or possession, through relationships, so being actual friends with a woman escapes those type of dudes. This. The most attractive guys who girls chase don't need to invest. She will make this sad reddit post and go right back to him. If you want to be friends that a how are you not in a relationship? You just gotta find yourself the right guy. I, 30 meters, I've been seeing this girl, 25F, for the last 3 months, and we hang out about twice a week, but only sleep together like every third time we hang out. I had just gotten out of a relationship right before we met, and she was just looking for something casual at the time, no labels other than exclusivity, and we've just kind of agreed that one of us will call it quits on the eventually. Well, I tried that once and it didn't work out. I'm still attracted to one of my closest friends, but we are romantically incompatible and we both know it. It makes things pretty easy because all the drama is long over and done, and now we can get on with being friends. Attraction is often transitory, and when it's not it can be for those I didn't bother to try. I knew what they were looking for romantically, and what I was looking for. As attracted as I was to them, I was not what they were looking for nor did I want to become what they were looking for, even if were possible. Once you reach that conclusion, it becomes easy to push aside romantic feelings or a attraction, because what's the point? That doesn't mean that they are not interesting people who are fun and engaging to spend time with. Bingo! The friends label is a misnomer. People need to call it what it is. Agree the a that's all that's for friends with benefits as you can rely on each other and your friends will you probably do stuff together when you hook up it's like explain what mine was. It was like the perfect friends with benefits when I'm drinking together we'll hook up, but before we even used to hook up, we would go out drinking together as a friends with benefits a is someone who doesn't do anything with the other person except for I have. Well as a man who's only eaten broccoli his entire life I don't know how other people don't enjoy it as much as I do. S. I think this explanation fits. To a lot of guys who are incredibly starved of affection a friendship will inevitably lead to falling in love. And you don't want that with someone you know you're not good with. I'm 36F, the same. I don't think I've ever once slept with a guy and truly wanted it to be just about. I definitely slept with guys when I was younger and probably knew that's all they were after, but low self-esteem and naivete allowed me to sleep with them anyway. Once I got older and started recognizing my own worth, the whole FWB or buddy situation truly became out of the question because I knew it'd be difficult and or risky to sleep with someone without my emotions getting involved. I am personally not always mentally okay enough to start a relationship, but I love and the intimacy I get. I only really enjoy it with people I am actually very close to and whom I feel safe with. I get that it is not for everyone. I van separate a attraction and romantic attraction, but not. Everyone is like also hate talking to new people that propose me to be FWB, and they don't want to meet up first a couple of times in public. Like hello, get to know me on a friendship level first and let us develop a connection bro. I am also demisexual and I don't feel attracted to strangers. Like, I, physically can't feel a attraction to strangers or people I just met. And I am hot, people need to deserve me. An actual friendship with someone plus a equals an actual relationship. What people think it is is, loose acquaintances with benefits. 
They're the kind of person you know through other people and like seeing at parties but you would never call if you actually needed help.